So where's my gift, Palmer? To myself. I'll give it to you tomorrow when I get out. I don't think that'll be a possibility. <laughs> okay. As soon as you take your hat off? Give me one reason why I should be listening to a murder. Hey, no need for name calling. I just thought it was disrespectful to wear a hat in the building. The only thing disrespectful in this building is you. Ouch, that really hurts. It really does. Cut the sarcastic crap! You killed Gary Palmer, me! I don't have to fess up to something I did not do. Still sing the same old song you've been singing. That's BS! Even if I was lying, you wouldn't be able to prove it. You have no proof. You never had any proof. This case and labeling me as a suspect has been a complete waste of my time, yours, and the whole Detroit police force. And tomorrow's Christmas. I'm gonna walk out of here a free man and you're gonna be the laughing stock of the whole police force. Is that what you think? The laughing stock of the Detroit police force? Brother, I'm gonna make you eat those words. I'm gonna break it down for you. Around a month ago, your wife Carrie is celebrating the 15th anniversary. She's happy, you're happy, but you're both deeply unhappy. You know what each other's thinking. You know your wife was cheating on you about a year with a guy you had never seen before. Until the day you saw him kissing. She saw you, but she didn't see you catch him. You're furious, you're riding a rage all the way home. You can't take it. You're so angry, you damn near explode. Like, you're not gonna cheat though. You're not gonna fight fire to fight. But you are gonna bring the hate. The 90th anniversary, love's in the air, but also it's tension. You're eating your dinner, you're giving each other's gifts, but you know the other's unfaithful. She goes to the bathroom, you go to your room to get your stuff. You go in the closet, you find a coat made of pink cashmere. You didn't buy it, you know who bought it. She comes to the room, she sees you with the coat. And she's, and she's her eyes are full of fury. But in her eyes are tears and fears. You beat her. You beat her more. You beat her till she's damn near dead. So that's when you shoot her. Square in the face. You run. You take the gun and coat and bury it in the back knowing that's the only thing that can link you to the murder. You drive back. Make it look like somebody broke into the house. And that you were just left for a second for an errand. You're making this up! See, I'm not done yet. Now, ironically, I have a snitch named Derek Wilkes. He claims they have an affair with Jerry Weiss, Carrie Palmer. And on their year anniversary, he gave her a coat made of pink cashmere. I'm frustrated. I'll go back to the house looking for clues. I'm searching all over the damn place. I'll go in the backyard, I trip over something pink. I just look down, I put my gloves on, I get a shovel, I dig it up, and I find the coat made of pink cashmere. Same exact one that he got. And what's wrapped in there? A 9mm pistol, the same one that Kerry Palmer was shot on your, on your anniversary that night. A 9mm. But your fingerprints are on you. No, 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 no! I gave her everything and then she had to cheat on me. Why? Why? Well, if you love her, you shouldn't have killed her, right? 